What's up, y'all? This is Hammer here again, back with another video. This is gonna be a quick video. It's not gonna be that long. It's probably gonna be very short, actually. I just wanted to hop on here and um, ask the ladies a quick question, <laughs> especially black women, right? And this is for just any black woman who may come across this video. So it's, it's, you know, it's not gonna be long. It's just a quick question, right? Can a black woman explain to me? You can put it in the chat. That's fine. What the hell is black male worship? <laughs> because as I have been scrolling through YouTube, right, I've been coming across a lot of, you know, channels, especially black female channels, pushing this idea of black male worship or the idea that black men are being worshipped by black women or the black community, right? And when I first heard it, I was like, okay, what are you talking about? I have never seen this in my life. I, I don't see... Now, look. I have, look, here's what I will say. There are black women that are pro-black men. There are black women that I believe are black men. Identify, which I, I, I think is a good thing, right? But I don't see that as worship. That's not worship to me, right? That's just supporting your male counterpart. The same way how in the white community, you have white women that are pro-white men. You have Asian women that are pro-Asian men, right? It's just how it is, right? And you also have black men that are pro-black women. So it's about supporting your, your, your counterpart. But one thing I've heard online, especially on black women, and I really want y'all to explain this, is that apparently, <laughs> from black women's point of view, there is this mountain and line of, of black women that are secretly worshipping black men. You're going to have to explain this to me. Ladies, please explain this to me, because I have never seen this in my life. I have never seen that. I've never seen black women worship black women, because... He, 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 here's what I hear, right? And maybe it may, maybe it has to do with, with miscommunication. When somebody says worship, what that comes off to me is that you, who when you're saying that black, you know, um, does black male worship, the implication you are making is that black women see black men as their God. And that is the furthest thing from the truth. I mean, it's, it's, let's be honest here. Although we do have black women who support black males, even when we talk to them about submission, you know, it ends up become, becoming a fight. Not all of them, a lot of them, a lot of them do. So that's not really worship. Worship is, I literally see you as, as my God. And anything you tell me to do, I will do it. I don't see any of that behavior when it comes to black women towards black men. I do not see black women looking at black men in such a way that literally anything a black man tells her to do, she'll do. Like, hey, um, don't speak for 100 years and she does it. I mean, stuff like that, because like, that's what worship is, right? You know, I'm going to give an example. I, I, I'm a Christian, right? You know, I worship God. Because I worship God, that means that God is above me. That means that whatever God asks me to do, I'm going to do it. Right? That's what worship means. And I feel like, ladies, look, this is also something that I have to call you guys out for, right? I, I call out the, the men for, you know, asking for submission while I'm not trying to build anything, right? I've always said, look, it, you know, I believe in patriarchal values, but I said, look, if black men, if men in general want to ask for submission, ask for tra traditional, you know, uh, um, um, situations, they also need to play the role. You cannot be a dude out here who's, who's running game, Spinning game, you know, got baby mouths over the place, got no money, got no got nothing, and you want to act for submission. I've always said that, hey, if you want to make those demands, you do need to make sure that you, you know you're, you're economically strong yourself. You need to make sure make sure that you are ready to play that sort of traditional role, right? Now, I do understand that because of how the economy is going with with, with, with the recession, with people getting evicted, with with, with, with you know white men at the top sucking up all the wealth, right? All the wealth going top one percent. You know, uh, uh, profits being put over people. I do understand that because of the economy and how it's set up, it's becoming harder and harder for people of all races, men of all races, to provide. And I, and I understand that. So, you know, obviously for a lot of people, you may see more and more situations of 50 50, not because they want to, because they have to, right? You know, it, it's coming to a point in which you almost need to income survive, right? But even with that being the case, I think even men would agree with me that. You know, it is better as a man to be in a situation where you are the financial breadwinner. It's better. You feel better in that situation. The woman, feel, everybody feels better when the man is a main provider. 
So I think that is the ideal world. Although the, 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 the although the the state state of the economy may make it harder for men to be able to do that, and, and I understand that. I think that all men can agree that that is for the most part should be the goal, right? To be the breadwinner, right? And of course, once you do get to that point, then the women need to submit and play a role. Now, if the women refuse to submit and play a role after you, 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 you know, providing and building, then you can start making these, these, these you know, complaints on it, right? But to make, you know, submission complaints, grievance complaints, why you're not even, you know, bringing the money or you're not, not even doing anything, it, 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 you know, that's, that, that's a bad situation. That, that's, that's, that's a bad look, right? So, so that, that's what, what I will tell the men. But when it comes to the women, okay, when you guys are out here saying black male worship, this is how you turn men off. Because it seems like you guys are just literally exaggerating things. What is What do you guys call black male worship? Because right now, I have an image of, of women's proposing to men. Is this what you guys call black male worship? Like... I, 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 I'm genuinely wondering. I'm genuinely, like, you know, curious, right? Because there are images out there of, you know, white women pr proposing to white men. There are images out there of other groups of women proposing to men. Now, do I support this? No. I I, I don't support it because I feel this is sort of a, a reverse gender situation, right? I don't support it. But I would not call this black male worship, Right? You know, I have heard women online saying that, hey, if a woman wants to submit, that's black male worship. So this is, ladies, this is how you guys turn men off, okay? The same way when men say they want submission but don't want to provide money, that turns women off. When you guys are saying that literally basic traditional requirements for women is, 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 is worship, when you guys do that, it also turns men off too, Okay, but if we actually had real situations out here of black women worshiping black men, I would agree with you, but I don't see that. Okay, I don't. All I see is, is women online saying that ba literally basic traditional roles for black women is black male worship. Now, I would I would definitely agree that black women proposed to black men is definitely not the way to go. Right. But even that I would not call black male worship. I would not do that. So, ladies, if you are in the chat, please, 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 if you're coming across it, if you're watching, explain to me what black male worship is. And for the men who are also watching, you know, you get you guys can also add your thoughts to as to what they're saying. Because once again, you know, we can't have an honest conversation if both sides are not, you know, talking about things in a logical way. I I you know, I go at the men for trying to have it both ways, trying to have submission with without money you know because one thing i've noticed was within the, the the sort of black male space is that there has been this push by a lot of black men where they want to i guess decrease the need for for money and you know this is one thing i have to agree with sergeant willie Pino. you know he's a he's a guy i sort of came him across i don't agree with everything to say but one thing i will agree with when it comes to sergeant willie p is that money matters right economics matters as a man, being able to provide matters, okay? I remember, you know, a time in my life when I didn't have the money. Now I have the money. And there's a difference. As a man, there is a difference compared to when you have the money compared to when you don't. A man who, who, who who's a financial breadwinner, who's, you know, making all the money, you know, that's a very different situation compared to a man, you know, who's in the house where he's not making the money, but the woman is. That's a very different situation compared to a man where he's only bringing a half. Now, once again, I understand the said economy. I understand that, but the, but the goal is that everything is better when the man is is a primary uh, um um you know um he's a primary provider. Everything is better for the man and the woman and the kids. Okay. And 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 and, and I do call the men when they try to come to the table and tr see. If you, if you come and say, hey, because of the economy, because of how things are, because of capitalism, you know, we need both incomes to, we need both people to work, you know, um, to survive, I could understand that. But when you come into the, to, to the table say, oh, money doesn't matter, I don't need to bring it into the table, I, as a man, I don't have to bring the finances, that's when, that's when, that's when I gotta call you out. It's one thing to to say that, hey, because of capitalism, because of the economy, men can't do that anymore. But it's another thing for you to devalue the need for men to be the primary, 
you know, uh, um, 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 breadwinner. Okay, I called them up for that, and now I'm gonna call the women for you know taking literally basic situations of black women, you know, operating in traditional roles and calling this black male worship. Oh, she wants to be nice to a black man. That's black male worship. Oh, she wants to cook for a black male. That's black male worship. Oh, she wants to mentor a black male. That's black male. Like what? Now I will give it to you. You know, black women, black women proposing to black men. That no, I don't agree with that. All right, and even and even that I won't call black male worship. So, ladies, what can you explain to me? What is black male worship? What are you talking about? Because all I hear from you guys is that anything, any time a black woman decides to play traditional roles in regards to a black man, decides to submit, be feminine, all that stuff, that gets called her. She gets called a mammy, a pygmy, and and a black male worshiper. And if that's what black male worship is, and you got ladies, you know, you guys, if that's what black male worship is, then this is a bad look for you. It's a bad look for you. Because all that's going to do is give ammo to the males that say, see, they're not serious. They're, 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 these women are not serious about trying to fix things. They're, they're literally calling, you know, black women being nice to black men as black male worship. So, so be honest here, right? Be honest here. The same way the men need to be honest about their the their grievance claims, you gotta be honest too. Don't don't come to the table saying I want me to provide, but then a black woman be nice to a black male. You guys call her a mammy, pick me, and a black male worshiper. It's gotta stop. It really does. But with that being said, y'all, um, tell me in the chat what you guys uh, what you think about this video. The men invited to, to to comment, but ladies, please tell me what black male worship is. Explain it to me. Because if black male worship is just black women being nice to black men, then you guys are way off. Way off, right? Way off. Uh, and it needs to stop. Like, really, like, like now. Uh, but anyway, tell me what you guys think in the chat. You know, the women, tell me what black male worship it means. Like, please explain to me because you know, b b based on what I'm seeing, nothing you guys are showing me is black male worship, right? And the men, you guys can, can add your comments too. But with that being said, y'all, like, share, and subscribe. Hammer out.